right, welcome back to Metal Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. I did that little pause because if you don't wait three seconds, then it comes in like, oh, Metal Rules TV. Like, I always uh, notice that. Yeah. There's like a two-second pause where there's no sound. That's right. Have you noticed on some of the I videos? Have, I have noticed it. Yeah, you have to pause, pause. three seconds. That's right. Yep. That's why I did it. So, we're back with Penny, part two. Of part two. We left That's off, we were at the gym. We were. <laughs> Do you go uh, to the gym, Kenny? I at least three times a week, guys. Nice. Remember, we got to teach the kids that exercise is important. Okay. Even if you do a minute of jumping jacks a day, kids, make sure you get out there and you do just take a walk. Get out. Stop playing your Xboxes and take a walk. Go climb a tree. Kids should climb trees, man. Yeah. I used to climb a tree. You got to climb a tree. <clears throat> um, wow. Yeah. That covered everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From kids to, to adults. Get back out it's there. It's true. Don't quit in the Walk don't, a back. just because you ain't going down the shore, don't quit now. You yeah. Know? That this is the time to really get into it and come back when everybody starts coming back and for in, in March or April or May or no, January. And they want to renew their room yeah. shit. Go to YouTube go to YouTube, look up metal metal <laughs> bodybuilding six six six, metal roll six 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 with right. John Jeff. Get motivated. Watch these two chumps, you know, show what they got going on, you know. We'll have to make more clips for you. We should we need to make new ones. <laughs> Motivating clips. That's right. Hey, we'll get Kenny involved. Like, Let's go. We'll do inclines and we'll do the pyramid of death. Oh, yeah. Oh, we no did help. We did weights. exercising on camera. That, that remember that we did a segment. In the oh yeah, well, that's hasn't gone up yet. That'll be going up soon. Me and Matt did an exercise okay. that segment. I would have another remember. instance of nudity for me. I Were you nude in that? Say, remember, I just put my shirt up. Yeah. yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I was around you, so I'm like, you know what the hell. It seemed like the smart move. It is. Flexing is the most important uh, I don't really exercise. Flex so much Are you flexing right now? I just did. You see you did that? <laughs> yeah. I'm you always just flexing for no reason, huh? <laughs> I just did it again. It's hot. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <sighs> you want to try some? Yeah. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Perhaps you want to buy some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try some or buy some. I never even heard that. <laughs> That's like an old but a goodie. Like <laughs> that makes me go pistol. Oktoberfest. One thing I noticed is, well, I found out that is you actually uh, work with an old friend of mine. And who was that? Jim Sutcliffe. Yeah. I uh, I fell into that, as a matter of fact. Uh, one day last year, they called me up. They wanted me to do a concert. Like, they, they posted online. Uh, you know, some a friend of mine knew that I'd probably be good at that job. And she said, well, okay, well, somebody already took the job I need you for. Two days later, I get a phone call. You'd be down here for Soundgarden. I'm like, sure, no problem. I'll hang out with them. Nice. But at the time, the other business I worked for with the kids, I, I couldn't. I had to be loyal to the kiddies. So I couldn't really do the rest of the shows. And then out of nowhere this year, Van Halen, and then all of a sudden, the rest of my entire life changed this year. And that, that's. I'd rather be behind the stage and just watch the big boys do it than be at the front of the stage. What exactly yeah. do you do? Everything from chauffeur to. Uh, get them smokes to get them whatever they need um i could tell you a million stories like just anything and then the, the other thing i got into was promoting they're like okay well if this guy's the headbanger guy out in the scene give him a couple flyers and then i grab the people i know and then i'm like yo can you help me and at the very least you're handing out one of your heroes flyers along with your own and right. you know i guess what they're trying to do is like just you know get the g willigers kid to make people come to their shows and that's the business you know it's for you're gonna do it for your show so might as well I always have flyers in my pocket you gotta have flyers in your pocket old school so you we were just talking about that you were preventing how did you get to meet the guys I um I didn't meet them but as Mr. Roth was coming out he gave me the Liberace meets a mummer you know cause he wasn't talking he just looked at me like <laughs> where as he walked by as he walked he was strutting by he was strutting yeah. by <laughs> and I swear he was like from here to, to those beer bottles and he, awesome. I was like you know what? The, I don't need anything. I don't need this. What, what am I going to talk to him about? Like, that's all I needed. Like, David Lee Ross. They acknowledged him. He, yeah. he did. That's yeah. a good point. That's, yeah. Let's not forget, guys. He ain't talking about love, but Sammy wants to know when it's love. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it's just something you feel together. That's what I mean. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that was um, really quick. So, um, so what, what big guys have you come in contact with? You actually had, um, did, did, did to take people there or had... Some kind of uh, social interaction besides a, but a qu 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 why am I stuttering? I just being stuttering, okay. right. like a clever wink or something. A clever wait. Rephrase the question. 
I, I, you lost me there. I know because I started stuttering and then, <laughs> then, then, look then I had a heart take murmur. It, take the beer slow. It's been <laughs> yeah. a while. Uh, nurse it. I've already it. drunk on one beer. It's yeah, been two weeks since I had a beer. I'm on my second beer and I'm going to hammer it. Like, when you have stuttering birth <laughs> blood and you got this, this, is that true? <laughs> it was. It absolutely was. Next question. The question is, when you, uh, have you had any instances with uh, famous celebrities other than just like how David Lee Roth like winked at you? Yeah. Which is, which is cool in itself but like Actual, like, where they need you to do something and you spend quality time with them. Like, or like heroin or that go No, the dude Gautier with that super duper hit. Um, it was one of my first gigs I did. And, and it, Who's I was Gautier? No, he's just somebody, somebody you used to know. That I used to know somebody. Thank you. Do you hear that, us? That's no. Jeff Rosenblum's favorite song. song. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's only, yes. on, it's only <laughs> on the radio a couple times. So don't, but you didn't yeah. have to cut me off. It's, what, what don't worry about it. Where were they playing at? But they were at the tower, and um, actually, it was oh, you know, right. it was one of my first gigs. And I didn't, you know, I, I just wanted to be. Can you tell him Jeff Rosenblum? You met him. Tell Jeff. Rosenblum. I met Jeff Rosenblum. No, you didn't meet Jeff Rosenblum. <laughs> tell Jeff Rosenblum they met Gautier. <laughs> you can meet Jeff, Jeff Rosenblum. I met Gautier. You just let him go look at go go. David. Think Go get Jeff Rosenblum in here. We will. Um, but <laughs> no, don't the, the, don't touch the picture because it took me forever to hang out. Walk over there and film Jesus. Jeff Rosenblum real quick. Right. We'll keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> Did it have to cut me off? I could not get nothing. Jeff, it makes you feel better. I've never heard it either. <laughs> you never heard that song. Dude. The guy in the middle is Jeff Rosenblum. Yes, I'm calling you out. Now back to the show. I've probably heard it, but I've never paid attention to it. Until Maria, it's probably one of those songs. Until Maria says played. Jeff Rosenblum's favorite song, I had no idea who. who but now you know was. exactly. Now you uh, know yeah, the song. They play the song. They all play the piano together, or like, wow. like play the piano with all their hands or something in the video. That's that's like a tribute to that this guy. Oh. But regard regard like he. Somebody. I was, sorry. I was trying to be all professional. I, I'm in my little Mazda. I'm being all professional. I'm like, you know, trying to be, like, really, when I, like, you're providing a service, they're coming to Philly. You're like, yeah, I'm, I'm a Northeast guy. You're a bitch. What can I do yeah, for yeah, you? Yeah, what can I, seriously. Yeah. Let me do it efficiently. And then yeah. next time you come back, they're going to be like, oh, well, these people over here were thorough, so let's work with them again. Right. Right. So you're, on behalf of the whole company, which it is, you're providing a service. So the production manager said, uh, go take them to get sushi. I'm like, do you want me to, like, Hang in the parking lot, make sure like nobody's bothering them. Or, no, go just go have dinner with them. And then there we are, me and his two other bandmates, and then we're off to somewhere in our oh by the rusty nail, and then we're eating sushi. And the the point is that this guy in March, the song just popped, and I had an hour long conversation with him, and it was genuine, and it was before the whole summer, and he got big, and now he's on all the talk shows, like he's selling out arenas and stuff like that. But it was just cool. Because this guy had a hit, and what I realized was talking to him is like the only difference between he and I is he worked his ass off, he did the right thing, he made the best music he could possibly. There's, do. Yeah, there's no difference. You know, and it, it it's just really humble. Like the whole year for me has been really humbling watching all these guys and do what they do, and I'm just like, man, you know, like it, it energized me for like next year, and now I'm a lot more focused than I used to be, and it, I learned a lot of stuff this year through that job, and it was great. It it's you know. Humble me a lot. I wish Jim Self could, could, could be that job, actually. Well, I'm, I, I have to hit him up. Is there any more of those openings? Because yeah, I think no. I would like to do that job. That's good for me. It is. You know? You be quick and, and... Maybe you should tell him, Jim, you got to get rid of Kenny and do that job. <laughs> Come on, I've known you since high school. I've known Jim for like 30 years. That's almost as old as me. Yeah. So, at least 30 years. Maybe 32 years I've known him. Yeah. But, yeah. And I'm really grateful and I, they probably think I'm crazy but I'm like yo I can't thank you enough it was amazing I met my he like I, you know I met my heroes this year Who's that? I, uh, I don't know like Tom Array just walked out of his taxi oh, wow. cab car and he walks past me and I'm like you know what what would I have said to him except thank you and then mm -hmm. I met Dave Lombardo back like all at once Dave Lombardo uh, all I said was thank you to these people I wasn't trying to get autographs or nothing and, and there, then there goes a uh, freaking uh, Corey from Slipknot walking this way and then there's Clown and he's thanking me for oh thank you for working us I'm like thank him, thanking me like thank you dude like Mayhem I got to work Mayhem. they called me I'm thinking the one weekend I worked for uh, look now I'm not name job no, anyway I worked, to, I worked it's supposed to be interesting he knows everybody, everybody. I worked okay, okay, I worked, I, worked I, I went to Cancun with my girlfriend and her friend right I come and I'm like I love Mexico and I'm like wow this is great and then I get an email down there can you work Friday and I'm like 
yeah, okay, okay, we were working for Santana. So I get to come back from Mexico, work for <laughs> Santana. Wow. And, sit, and I love Mexican culture. I love, like, it's tons of rhythm, you know? Like, yeah. I, obviously, I love all the drumming. Yeah. <laughs> and I get to buy his birthday card. Like, I get to buy... That was your job, buy, go buy... Yeah, the guy flipped me money after I picked up his girlfriend, and he goes, he goes, here, uh, go buy Santana a birthday card. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Wow. That's and I came, and I came back, and, and they all sang happy birthday, and I ducked behind a stairwell, and I almost cried, and I'm like, how the hell did I get here where Santana's giving his 65th birthday speech, and here I am... Together like working for him. That was the most. That was the hardest job I had to do all day. Was buy him a birthday card. And then he went. I got this card last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. This was blood so play. Then, and then, then you really cried. Right, right. <laughs> so then I come home. I come home. I, I drive home. And then the next day I'm like, you know what? This is life is great. And then all of a sudden I get a little text. Can you work Mayhem Fest? And I was just like, and then from wow. there it was like, you know, it's been a great year. And then this week it's going to be our birthday, and I'm. I'm on a show on the week of my birthday week, so thank you. Awesome, man. I appreciate yeah. it. This yeah. is probably the highlight right here. Are you yeah, gonna, there you go. Are you going to start crying? I hope so. I would love it, because that would make my day. I have not yet made anybody cry so. yet. No. Like Barbara Walters. I gotta, I gotta, you are. I got to work it. You are. My moment, actually, Barbara Walters used my questions on the view. What? Hell. Yep. What I did an interview with uh, Eric Zamanda mm -hmm. of uh, CSI, and it's like I was the only one that had done one at that point, and he was on the view. And they needed research, so they used Metal Rules Magazine. Really? And these research, and and uh, Barbara Walters used questions from Metal Rules Magazine <laughs> and asked Eric Zaman of my questions. So, that was pretty cool. That's pretty hard, cool. Bitch. That's, that's that should, make you, that should they, make you cry. They will. Ball will multiples. Yeah. All right, so I guess the uh, the last and most important question I have for you okay. is, you are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV and why? I am absolutely honored to be here on Metal Rules TV because there needs to be honest metal shows, and this is an honest metal show. Yep, to a, uh, like to a fault. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like Headbangers Ball, three hours rolled into however many hours we're going to be here. Today. Four and a half. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there's no commercials. And there's right. no commercials either. And yeah. it's not pre taped. You know? Now all we need is music. It actually is pre-taped. Well, well, you know, <laughs> the segments. You're getting the segments as, yeah. as not rehearsed. Probably, yeah. It's not yeah. edited. Yeah, it's not edited. There you go. There that you part go. is true. Not edited, not rehearsed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So definitely not. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're like, here, Lars. Here's a, here's a, the list of videos we'll be playing this Saturday. It's like, okay, all right, all right. This one's Talica. Yeah. Can <laughs> we hear Jim Burr do? I die. Did you ever hear Jim Burr do? Yeah, um, good, uh, he tells a story about Lars Ulrich, and he yeah. does him to a T, to a T. <laughs> Tell you what, I I just want to say one thing, and I think I can speak freely right now. I'm tired of everybody naysaying Metallica. I'm tired of everybody talking shit on them. Uh, no, look, they're, they're no. Go ahead. It's a free country. <laughs> but here's why. Here's why. It's like they gave you those four first albums. Don't give them a hard time. Oh, we never give them a hard time about uh, that. We just give uh, them a hard time about everything they released afterwards. All right. That's, that's cool. Afterwards. Yeah. yeah. And the end, Cliff's anniversary just passed. And I did like Death Magnetic a lot. It was like, it was. they were trying to go for the sound of Justice for All and with the technicality of Justice for All and Master Puppets, I think. But it's a loud album. It's a. It's like Guns N' Roses, Epitaph, Destruction, Loud. Remember when you got the chrome tape and you're like, wow, it's a chrome tape. Yeah. It's not the white ones. Yeah. What, is, just what does Dolby mean? <laughs> it's you want to hear a funny story? Because we have plenty of time left in this clip, even though we went over our time. Uh, when that album came out, uh, Jim Sutcliffe used to work at Sound Odyssey in the Cherry Hill Mall. It was a uh, uh, the, one of the coolest record stores of all time. I don't know if you were even around for that. Uh, which one was it's it? before that. It was called Sound Odyssey. It was in the Cherry Hill Mall years and years and years ago. And Jim Sutcliffe was one of those lucky bastards. Like, he already is lucky enough from doing what he's doing now, mm -hmm. but even when he was a kid, he was lucky. He was working at fucking Sun Odyssey. Well, he's not lucky. He's a fucking hardworking dude. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was working at Sun Odyssey, and I'd come in there, and he would be like, oh, Jeff, let me tell you what's coming out. And when when Justice for All came out, he was working there, and he told me about how, dude, they're, they're releasing it on two records. The quality is so good that they can't fit all of it on one record. It's going to be a two-record set. And we're really? like, wow, that's so cool. Four sides. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? Is it? Was it? Yeah. Yeah. I still remember when wow. he told me to make it sound good. 
And I remember, still remember him, still remember having that conversation with him. He used to live right near me too. So cool. was, yeah, so that, that was the, the honestly that I always bring that up, but that's that's the birth of my model. In my neighborhood, under Home Avenue Bridge where I live, and now moved back into my neighborhood. Summer '88, just appetite destruction and and ride the lightning all summer. I was 11 years old. That's when I started drinking. It was great. So uh, confessions. Yeah. So then the whole summer I'm hanging out with these headbangers, and all ironically, all tall and all white, and they just head of hair and yeah. the back patches, <laughs> you know. So they let me hang out and drink their Meister Brow under Home Avenue Bridge. So it's the end of summer. What was it? it came out late August, August 24th, right? 1988. And um, I'm like, hey guys, what are you guys doing? They're like, shh, it's the new Metallica. And they had the, the boombox on like the little ledge on the wall underneath Sweet. the bridge. And like this bridge was like two stories high. Like you had to walk down the woods to it. And they were all like circled around this like concrete thing and just listening to that. And I don't care what anybody says, there's no bass. There's no bass. No, no, that's true. Not bass. I don't care if they say, oh, well, we just turned it down. There's no bass. Because I guarantee you, it was like, it would, be, it would have been disrespectful. And they're like, okay. We'll put out a 590 ADP the year before, and we'll just turn up your bass, and you can have the crash course bass. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. Right. So, sorry, I'm like, no, I'm not sorry. I like living in 1988 because it, it was a good <laughs> fucking year. Yeah, that was your birth of metal. It was. It was. It was the height of everything. We got cable in Northeast Philly. We got Comcast, and you know, we everything just was right there. The Empire Rock Club. I started going there around that time. What else? And now in 2012, I have to end this segment because <laughs> you gotta, Marie gave me the one minute like five minutes ago. <laughs> okay. So thank you for your time, Penny. Will you let to stick around and tell us new stories? Uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll hang out. We'll drink cool. the magic hat. you got to change right. your evil ways, though. Thank you. Baby. <laughs> we knew rules. each other before. We knew each other before. <laughs>